Welcome to GED exam practice test. Our topic today is math. Use the link in the description to download the app on the app store for free practice tests. Number 1. Give the correct answer of the following calculation. 5.88 multiplied by 3.2, A18.816, B116.44, C220.352, D117. The correct answer is A18.816. Explanation. This problem can be solved as 588 multiplied by 32, except at the end, the decimal point needs to be moved three places to the left. Performing the multiplication will give 18816, and moving the decimal place over three places results in 18.816. Number 2. How will the following number be written in standard form? 1 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, plus 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3, plus 7 multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, plus 8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 0. A 137. B 13,078. C 1378. D 8731. The correct answer is B 13,078. Explanation. The power of 10 by which a digit is multiplied corresponds with the number of zeros following the digit when expressing its value in standard. Therefore, the expression equals 10,000 plus 3,000 plus 70 plus 8, giving the final result of 13,078. Number 3. What is the value of the expression 7 squared minus 3 multiplied by the sum of 4 and 2, then plus 15 divided by 5? A 12.2. B 40.2. C 34. D58.2 The correct answer is C34. Explanation. When performing calculations consisting of more than one operation, the order of operations should be followed, parenthesis, exponents, multiplication or division, addition or subtraction. Step 1. Parenthesis. The 4 plus 2 inside the parenthesis is equal to 6. Step 2 exponents. 7 squared equals 49. The expression now can be written as 49 minus 3 multiplied by 6 plus 15 divided by 5. Step 3. Multiplication and division from left to right. 3 multiplied by 6 equals 18 and 15 divided by 5 equals 3. The expression now can be written as 49 minus 18 then plus 3. Finally, addition and subtraction also from left to right. 49 minus 18 equals 31, then 31 plus 3 resulting in 34. Number 4. Four people split a bill. The first person pays for one-fifth, the second person pays for one-quarter, and the third person pays for one-third. What fraction of the bill does the fourth person pay? A 13 sixtieths. B 47 sixtieths. C a quarter. D 4 fifteenths. The correct answer is A 13 sixtieths. Explanation. To find the fraction of the bill that the first three people pay, the fractions need to be added, which means finding a common denominator. The common denominator will be 60. One fifth plus a quarter plus one third is equal to 12 sixtieths plus 15 sixtieths then plus 20 sixtieths and equals 47 sixtieths. The remainder of the bill is 1 minus 47 sixtieths equals 60 sixtieths minus 47 sixtieths, then results in 13 sixtieths. Number 5. A student gets an 85% on a test with 20 questions. How many answers did the student solve correctly? A 15. B 16. C 17. D 18. The correct answer is C 17. Explanation. 85% of a number means multiplying that number by 0.85. So, 20 multiplied by 0.85 equals 20 multiplied by 8500, which can be simplified to 20 multiplied by 17 twentieths. The final result is 17. Number 6. What is 420 divided by 98 rounded to the nearest integer? A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 6.
The correct answer is B. 4. Explanation. Dividing by 98 can be approximated by dividing by 100, which would mean shifting the decimal point of the numerator to the left by 2. The result is 4.2, and it can be rounded to 4. Number 7. If Danny takes 48 minutes to walk 3 miles, how long should it take him to walk 5 miles maintaining the same speed? A. 32 minutes. B. 64 minutes. C. 80 minutes. D. 96 minutes. The correct answer is C. 80 minutes. Explanation. To solve the problem, a proportion is written consisting of ratios comparing distance and time. One way to set up the proportion is, 3 divided by 48 equals 5 divided by x, where x represents the unknown value of time. To solve a proportion, the ratios are cross-multiplied, 3 multiplied by x equals 5 multiplied by 48, or 3 multiplied by x, is equal to 240. The equation is solved by isolating the variable, or dividing by 3 on both sides, to produce x equals 80. Number 8. If the square root of 1 plus x is equal to 4, what is x a? 10. b 15. c 20. d 25. The correct answer is b 15. Explanation. Start by squaring both sides to get 1 plus x equals 16 dot then subtract 1 from both sides to get x equals 15. Number 9. What is the simplified quotient of the following expression? 5 times x cubed divided by 3 times x squared multiplied by y, then divided by the fraction. 25 divided by 3 times y to the power of 9. A. 125 times x divided by 9 times y to the power of 10. B. x divided by 5 times y to the power of 8. C. 5 divided by x times y to the power of 8. D. x times y to the power of 8 divided by 5. The correct answer is D. X times Y to the power of 8 divided by 5. Explanation. Dividing rational expressions follows the same rule as dividing fractions. The division is changed to multiplication, and the reciprocal is found in the second fraction. This turns the expression into 5 times X cubed divided by 3 times X squared, multiplying 3 times Y to the power of 9 divided by 25. Then multiplying across and simplifying, the final expression is x times y to the power of 8 divided by 5. Number 10. Which of the following is a factor of both x squared plus 4 times x plus 4 and x squared minus x minus 6? A. x minus 3. B. x plus 2. C. x minus 2. D. x plus 3. The correct answer is B. X plus 2. Explanation. To factor X squared plus 4 times X plus 4, the numbers needed are those that add to 4 and multiply to 4. Therefore, both numbers must be 2, and the expression factors to X squared plus 4 times X plus 4 is the square of X plus 2. Similarly, the expression factors to X squared minus X minus 6 is X minus 3 multiplied by X plus 2, so that they have X plus 2 in common. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.